Hey, this is Dan Palanchar, Senior Solutions Consultant with School of Sheet Solutions Consulting, and today I'm going to be answering another question from the Smartsheet community. So, uh, Liggy here is asking about basically automating a status based on percent complete. So, they're saying, hello, if in a column shows 100% complete, this info is from another sheet, I would like it to automatically update as complete. Uh, this person tried a particular formula here. And it works for in progress and not started, but it does not work for completed. Okay, so let's go through this and make it work. I'm going to note that I'm going to be running this formula on one sheet. It's a little bit simpler to see to start. And then I will show you how to do it comparing across multiple different sheets. So to accomplish this, we're going to need a nested if statement, which is kind of a series of logical expressions that analyze the data in your sheet and determine what the appropriate status should be. So we're going to build this. I'll make this a little wider so we can see it being made. Let's make this slightly larger. So equals, we're going to use the if formula. We want to reference percent complete. I'm going to use at row since we are referencing a cell in the same row as our formula. Uh, it's a little bit of a best practice in Smartsheet. It's kind of a specific Smartsheet thing. So if percent complete at row equals one, and since we're dealing with percentages here, um, we're going to use just the numeral one, it's going to be interpreted as 100%. So if percent complete at row equals one, we want to output completed. And then we're going to repeat this process for the other. So now if percent complete at row, we can say is greater than zero, that will make it in progress. And some people, when they write these formulas, they're going to try to basically say if it's both greater than zero and less than one, but the way these things work is that each step in the chain, whenever you find a logical statement that is true, it stops. So the first thing we're doing is checking if percent complete is equal to one, 100%. And if that's true, this is gonna stop. If we even get to this point in the formula, we already know percent complete is not equal to one. So we can just um, you know, assume that we don't need to be checking for it being less than one. We know that's gonna be the case. All we really care about is if it's zero or not. So all we need to do is say if percent complete is greater than zero in progress. Now along the same line, we don't actually need to do another if statement. We can just utilize the value of false. Because at this point, we've checked to say that percent complete is equal to one. That's not the case. We've checked to say that it's greater than zero. That's not the case. So therefore, unless somebody is inputting a value that's over one, um, which doesn't make any sense, you can have it just equal to zero. And even if you, you know, technically you can make this greater or equal to one to accommodate for the fact that if somebody like accidentally puts in 111. But anyways, uh, that's all we need to do for our formula. If we copy this down, we can see, whoops, we don't want this to say zero. We want this to say not started. There we go. Um, so very simple formula. And some people like to use, this is another option. Some people like to use the colored status symbols. So... For example, if you wanted the kind of standard convention that is completed would be blue, in progress would be green. Some people would, I'll use yellow for not started, I'd kind of save red for like overdue. So you can do it like that and just put in the names of the uh, colors. All right, so that's how you do it on a single sheet. Now let's say that you don't have percent complete on this sheet, but you have it on a separate sheet you can actually reference the other sheet and determine um, what the status should be based on a separate sheet. So let's go through that. So I've added um, a name column here, or let's call it job info. So we have a job info column, and I've also created a copy of this sheet. It's over here, we can make it look a little bit similar. Now let's say that percent complete does not exist on this sheet. So we do that and now we've completely lost our status because we don't have the reference. Now the exercise is going to be reference the data on our copied sheet which does have the percent complete and pull out the status. So perhaps in this sheet we don't actually have the status. I'm not sure why you would set it up this way but it's just for a method of example. Um, so what we're going to need to do is utilize a cross sheet reference to um, look at the percent complete and then populate the status formula. So I'm going to use an index match formula to get the percent complete in and then I'll show you how to put it into the actual status formula. 
So for, let's take it one step at a time and just build the index match. So we're going to use index, and the first thing we're going to do is specify the group of you know, the column that we're going to want to take the data out from. So I'm going to do this here, and I'm going to call it. I'm going to actually name it percent complete so I know what it is I'm pulling in. So we're going to do index, the range, match, and the search value. We're going to do job info at row. And then you need to specify the column in the other sheet that has the same exact data to search for. And OK, good. So we're pulling in the appropriate value. So what we can do is basically put this index match statement inside of our status formula, and then we can get the status that we need. So let's utilize this within our logical nested if statement to get our status back. So if this whole, we want to do this whole index match, basically if the percent complete from the external sheet um, based on the job info in this sheet is equal to one, let's make this equal complete. Now let's test it out. So boom, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is copy this entire block here and just uh, reproduce it a couple times. So if, again, this index match, we're going to make this greater than zero like we did in the first time. Let's make this in progress. And then just like last time, we don't need the uh, actual logic at the last part. We can just use a value of false and say not started. If we copy this down, Boom, we are getting everything that we need. Let's say we add job five here. Okay, it's gonna default to not started. Now if we add job five over here and make it 3%, we're going to come over to our uh, first sheet, and you can see actually that our, our very eyes just updated to in progress. So there's a lot of ways you can actually accomplish this. You could use this index match to get the data. Um, it's a little bit more of a you know technically challenging thing to do. You could use a just a cross sheet reference to pull in the um, percent complete itself in a new column and reference that. Or you could just have it all in one sheet. So uh, similar to other videos, it's there's always many different ways that you can solve your problems with Smartsheet. It just depends on, you know, what's the most efficient way, what makes the most sense with what you're trying to accomplish. So I hope this uh, was a helpful video, a little two-for-one automating status and some index match. Um, if you liked the video, please uh, click the thumbs up button. It helps the channel a lot. And subscribe for more Smartsheet tutorials. If you have any specific questions, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll make a video for you. Thanks.